Hi, I am Ahmad, a PhD student at Coventry University. I'm recording this presentation for 70-40 Riley Manual Week uh, and the uh, 47th and Concrete Science Conference at University of Sheffield. Thanks to the organizing team at University of Sheffield for providing me this chance to present part of my research into the effect of power ultrasound on properties of Portland cement paste and mortars. This project is being supervised by professors Ganjian, Professor Tyrer, Professor Mason, and a joint collaboration with uh, Dr. Olivia Hass, who is a specialist in image analysis. Today I'm presenting a small part of the result related to chemical shrinkage and mechanical performance and particle size distribution of uh, different systems I investigated in, the, in this research. Uh, the fir firstly, I'm, uh, first, I uh, discussed uh, some effects of our ultrasound in cement tissues material. Then I will give you a summary of my experimentation. Then the result of particle size distribution, chemical shrinkage, mechanical performance, and last con conclusion. Um, in our review, we discussed some effects of power ultrasound in cement tissues material. Enhanced mass transfer due to the micro streaming, the gassing, the aeration, uh, which is uh, one of the most significant effects of cavitation phenomenon. Uh, sonication, breaking up erosion of surface uh, structure would be influential on exfoliation of particles in. Uh, cement hydration or cement tissues material hydration. Degradation of large solid particles would be another effect and enhancing crystallization precipitation would be uh, another uh, important effect of sonication in cement tissues material. We try to trace the indirect evidence of these effects in, to the, in, in cement tissues material systems due to the application of sonication. In this uh, uh, experiment, um, the, the, the result I'm presenting uh, in this presentation related to uh, part of the result I obtain, we, we obtained from particle size distribution of power plant cement. Uh, then we focus on cement paste and mortars, both with water to cement ratio of 0.5. Uh, both uh, treated by these best spot multi-frequency ultrasonic bath designed by Ultrasonic UK, operating at 26 and 132 kilohertz for two and 10 minutes. Um, um, we treated cement paste and measured the chemical shrinkage using a developed automatic dilatometry uh, setup. For the cement mortars, we measured uh, compressive strength and uh, flexor strength development through different curing age up to 91 days on uh, mortar prisms, uh, 40, 40, 160 millimeter, and using a reference sand uh, based on the re requirement on uh, the BSEN standard. The two scenarios were considered on the case of mortars, the sonication of mortars at once, and uh, sonication of paste, uh, and then adding aggregates to the system. Uh, the first important step was knowing well, how much uh, real energy will be dissipated into the system by the ultrasound. Uh, systems used in this uh, research. As you can see here, the 40 kilohertz, uh, the small frequent, the small fixed frequency bath used for particle size distribution showed the higher uh, power density of uh, sonication energy, <coughs> followed by 26 kilohertz and 132 kilohertz. Uh, applied by multi-frequency ultrasonic bath. These two uh, frequencies for multi-frequency was only applied to cement paste and mortars and the 40 kilohertz was used only for particle size distribution study. Uh, 
As you can see uh, in this graph, the result of particle size distribution, um, the change in specific surface area measured by laser diffraction shows a small change due to the ultrasonic after two minutes. So this means that the ultrasonic uh, treatment, even at 40 kilohertz, which is the highest uh, the, and has highest ultrasonic energy used in this uh, study, uh, will not be really effective on this agglomeration of core of a finer size uh, fraction and only a limited effect on coarser size fraction of particles. Uh, we uh, developed an um, um, uh, automated uh, chemical shrinkage, uh, automated uh, dilatometry for measuring chemical shrinkage in cement paste. We needed a precise uh, setup and method because the difference between the various ultrasonic uh, frequency was not really significant. Uh, here you can see the um, the, the result for measurement of chemical shrinkage. As you can see, the shorter uh, sonication, both at uh, 26 kilohertz, which was the higher sonication um, uh, energy, uh, and 132 uh, leads to an acceleration of chemical shrinkage, uh, the rate of chemical shrinkage and we, it might be related to the extent of hydration. But the longer exposure of sonication will end up to the lower chemical shrinkage at uh, the end of 14 days with this scale. But at the at short term, during four, 24 hours, you can see the acceleration of chemical shrinkage due to the uh, sonication. Uh, here you can see in the, in the left the compressive strength, uh, the relative index of compressive strength uh, compared to the reference samples, and in, at the right the flexor of the strength due to the various uh, sonication frequency and duration. As you can see, uh, the, at, at the very early age, one day, uh, the sonication has decreased the both compressive strength and flexural strength. Um, this could be related to the disruption of ethringite um, or hydration, distressing hydration at very early age upon uh, application of sonication. We discussed in, in our previous um, study on pore solution. But when, um, the, when the age of hydration goes uh, up to 91, you can see the positive effect of sonication, specifically at 26 kilohertz, which is the higher intensity than 132, on, the, on improving the uh, compressive strength of uh, mortars due to the application of sonication both at compressive and flexural strength. You can see the uh, better performance of higher intensity, the green bars, both in uh, compressive strength and flexural strength. And you can see the positive effect of uh, longer exposure of sonication, uh, which shown by the hatching bars, uh, both green and the pink one. Um, which is uh, related to the degassing or the aeration of it, uh, the effect of uh, sonication. And we um, studied the effect of a stage of sonication uh, by applying sonication to the mortar at once, the green bars, and the hatching bars denote to the result of uh, sonication of paste uh, before addition of aggregate to make mortar. As you can see, the improvement in uh, the compressive strength and uh, flexural strength of samples when the paste sonicated before addition of aggregate is evidence in these graphs. Uh, and even at a later age, you can see 
the improvement in a flexural strength, specifically in flexural strength of samples, uh, due to apply uh, due to the application of 26 kilohertz, even uh, for only two minutes. Um, um, I, I, uh, we, we, we try to um, investigate the correlation between the compressive and flexural strength uh, through all sonication, all samples sonicated by, 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 by various uh, frequency and intensity. As you can see in this graph, um, the um, the, the uh, dash line, the line is a thread line, uh, the best fit thread line between the result of a various curing age. Uh, as you can see, for a given compressive strength, um, the 20, the, sum, the mortars uh, made by, treated by 26 kilohertz um, for two minutes, when the paste has been treated before addition of aggregate shows the higher flexural strength. This could be related to the improvement of both bulk cement paste or uh, interfacial transition zone um, in the scenario of sonication of paste before adding aggregates. Um, the, the concluding remarks will be that the P power ultrasound uh, partially disaggregate the coarse size fraction of PC particles, but the uh, slide reagglomeration was seen at longer treatment. The result shows that the short sonication, uh, both at higher or lower intensity, uh, caused enhancement a rate of in rate of chemical shrinkage. Uh, power ultrasound at first day um, uh, reduced the compressive and flexural strength of mortars. Uh, the effect of uh, higher intensity was more profound than the lower intensity. Uh, but when the hydration proceeds, um, the uh, result of 26 uh, kilohertz uh, was positive in compressive strength. Longer exposure of uh, power ultrasound at 26 kilohertz considerably enhanced one day uh, strength. Uh, this could be related to the aeration effect of ultrasound on partial removal of untrapped air, the gassing uh, effect of cavitation. And last res interesting result was related to the improvement in the result of flexural strength due to the sonication of paste before addition of aggregate to make mortar we saw the evidence of improvement in mechanical performance, um, which could be related to improvement or modification of bulk cement paste, property of bulk cement paste or interfacial transition zone. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm prepared for the, uh, any questions.